Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will see which CPU is better for 3D animation and visual effects work. We are comparing Intel Xeon versus Core i9 or Core i7 processor in this video. And in this video we will see what are their hardware specification, what kind of work you can do with these CPUs and which one is better for you. So all these questions answers you will find in this video. So let's start. So first thing is both CPUs are actually very good CPU. I'm, I'm not saying that uh, it's not a question of what is right or what is wrong. These both are good but they both are made for a specific reason. And remember CPU is one of the most expensive component or part in your computer. So that's why you should pick this CPU uh, based on your need what kind of work that you are going to do. Let's just see one by one and then we will get the idea about what these processors or CPUs are uh, servicing us. Okay, so now first thing is let's just go with Xeon and Xeon is one of the costly processor and compared to core they are considered as a budget processors. Xeon processors basically used for servers so that's why it's a server grade CPU and core i9 or core i7 processors are consumer grade cpu so you can found in most of the laptops desktops they are come with core i9 and most of the uh, servers blade rack server they are come with the xeon processor xeon processors support for ecc ram which is error correcting code ram where uh, core i9 processor don't support ECC RAM and if you are doing some mission critical stuff more financial data uh, analysis and these kind of things are actually good and with this you actually get uh, less crashes also so with that ECC RAM is uh, much better for this purpose but this is also very expensive RAM so let's say if you put Xeon processor and you put RAM inside your uh, motherboard then after some time if you want to change or if you want to buy a new stick then definitely it will be expensive compared to a non ECC memory which is cheap. Okay. Xeon processor basically comes with more core compared to uh, core processors having actually less cores. Okay, So this thing also keep in mind if you want to do some multi core processing work then definitely Xeon is the one. And next, in our next slide, we will see what are these multi-core things. And if you are just using a single threaded application, single core application, then Core i9 is really good. Intel Xeon processors basically comes with a lower frequency, the base clock speed. And that is basically whenever you see the processor, they come with like 2.5 gigahertz or 3.5 gigahertz, whatever. So this is the base clock for these kind of CPUs are basically low compared to core which is base clock speed is very high. Okay. Xeon processors support more RAM compared to the core processor. For example in Xeon you can go up to 128 and beyond 128 GB of RAM. But there in core you can you are uh, most of the time you are limited with 32 GB or maybe 64 GB. So that's what you should actually check the RAM limit before you buy a new processor for your computer. Xeon processors actually uh, have less data corruption and system crash compared to core processor which is actually having more data corruptions and system crashes. Xeon processor basically built for workstation and servers that are made for run 24 by 7 so that means if you have a server for example file server FTP server or whatever server that you have they are actually constantly running but core processors are built for home users and gamers so they are not made for running 24 by 7 so that thing also keep in your mind you cannot overclock Xeon processor but you can overclock core processors that is the one of the thing that you can go beyond the clock speed which is actually mentioned in the which is mentioned in the core uh, processor so for example if this core processor uh, speed base speed is basically let's say 3.5 gigahertz then you can actually overclock and go up to 4 gigahertz but only for certain amount of time if you constantly 
higher that speed constantly overclock then there is a chance to actually uh, mess around with this processor so it's only uh, not suggested most of the time to do the overclocking but sometime if you want to go do some specific task which is actually for that you need higher speed that you can overclock the core processors which you cannot do in Xeon Xeon basically comes with higher L3 caches which is very uh, good very fast cache which is comes with the processor and it speed up a lot of your uh, CPU intensive task but if the core i9 processor they are actually having the less uh, lower L3 cache with Xeon you can perform heavy task constantly so without uh, stopping or interrupting you can actually constantly do the heavy task but in core you can only perform the speedy task which with the task which require more speed that you can you can do in with the core in Xeon you can run more task in parallel there if you have like uh, for example let's say if you are using Maya Houdini Nuke all are you can run parallelly together and uh, not even this even some of the software which having that uh, parallel capability that you can actually take the advantage inside Xeon but in core processors they actually run the specific task faster so that's the key difference Xeon processors are more stable and reliable in uh, enterprise environment where core processors are made for high performance and speed for consumer grade and home users so that's the key differences between these two hardwares and uh, let's just move further and just see what are their uses so Xeon processor you can use for all types of server that will always on and many users interactions with these servers so for example file server email server web server FTP server and Xeon is a good choice for these kind of stuff where uh, if you are a gamer then core i9 is or core i7 will be a good choice for you let's just complete this part first then it will give you a more better understanding in Xeon processor you can run multiple virtual machines very smoothly so that is why because each virtual machines required some specific designated cores and uh, a part of your memory so that's why it's basically for running multiple virtual machines Xeon is the better option you can do 4k video editing on this Xeon you can do 3d simulations in uh, whatever 3d software that you are working on it's good for lighting it's good for multi-core CPU rendering I'm not including the GPU rendering because majority of rendering is now going on GPU side but let's say if you are doing some CPU rendering that this is good for multi-core CPU rendering and if we are just seeing the CPU rendering the core is better for single core CPU rendering but if you're talking about multi-core then Xeon is the best option if you want you are a compositor doing multiple multi passes compositing then definitely Xeon will help you more the software that you can run smoothly that is actually you can run Maya Houdini real flow new after effects and many other 3d application it doesn't matter maybe you can include blender also you can run without any problem and all you can get more productivity if you are using um, Xeon processor and Xeon is also good for multi-threading programming where core processors are basically good for gaming they you can do uh, decent amount of modeling work texturing shading work animation work and basically it's not a uh, exception basically you can do all these things here also but this is like ideal situation where you can actually use this if you have these two options then which one is good for what kind of thing it's also good for single core CPU rendering and good for Unreal and Unity game engines. So since that's, this is a gaming processor you can say then uh, if you want to uh, like doing something inside your Unreal engine or Unity engine then choice for core will be good for you. you this is not only for creation you can also use for 4K content playback, playback and uh, it's good for single threaded application so that is the thing uh, this all things which is comes under Xeon they all can actually work here 
and all the things which is actually i list here these all can fit with here also so this is not a exemption like uh, you cannot play games in Xeon. yes you can play Z games yes you can do uh texturing modeling animation all these things that you can do here and also you can use core i9 as a server you can just put your uh, whatever operating system for example let's say linux centos and after that you just make all your services install and just run it so it's uh, it will it will perform no it, it there is no exemption for that okay so that just keep that in your mind now one thing I'm, i want to make uh, like just to give you more better understanding about these two uh, processors basically if you are looking for a speed and if you want to uh, seriously speed is your main priority compared to the uh, stability or reliability then you can go with core i9 whereas if you are not concerned about the speed but you want a reliable or a stable pc then uh, then you can go with xeon you can compare these two processors uh, like if i give you a vehicle example this is your sedan car and this is your truck which is a like a, a container truck okay so sedan car you can actually go from uh, one place to another place by sedan car no problem but only four people can sit in that sedan car and you can actually just run uh, i mean if you are driving your car you can just drive up to a uh, few hours and after that you have to take a break because your car is not made for running like 12 hours so it will be heat up so you need to take a rest and then you start right so this is your sedan car this is basically a container is like a container which contain tons of weight and also constantly running not in the speed where your sedan car can run up to 100 kilometer uh, per hour but your Xeon, I mean your truck will just go with 50 kilometer maybe 60 kilometer per hour but constantly going on and reach miles and miles of the distance so this you can just see this as as an example if you have lot of workload that you want to do in your system but constantly parallelly you want to do without any worry then you can go with the Xeon processor and if you want to reach somewhere very fast without delaying then you can go with your sedan which is core i9 processor okay so intel xeon versus i9 which one you should buy uh, so i think the conclusion in this uh, video will be uh, if you are a serious professional of um, like 3d animation and visual effects then definitely i would recommend go with xeon because Xeon will actually help you in multiple uh, softwares basically most of the time we if it doesn't matter whether you are a texturing artist a modeler or a VFX artist or a compositor or editor so for example if you are a modeler definitely you use Maya and ZBrush together if you are a texturing artist then you use Maya Photoshop maybe substance together if you are a uh, maybe you are a visual effects artist then you use maya real flow houdini together to make simulation and doing some pre-comp testing also so definitely most of the time you run multiple application and when you are running multiple application then multi-core will be definitely help you in that because you can uh, divide the load on your cpu based on whatever multiple cores you have but if you are a gamer or a i mean uh, even for a 3d artist definitely the core processor is also very good there is no issue another big concern which one you should buy is it also depends on your budget because xeon processor is expensive compared to core processor most of the time they are actually double the cost of the core processor so the same amount of specification which core give you if you want to go with the same specification in Xeon definitely it will be double the price so make sure if you have a decent budget you can go with Xeon otherwise you can stick with core i9 or core i7 these are also very good 
processors and can do all the things which re you required for your work or your demo reel so guys there is one another tip which i want to give you here is like uh, it's like just the news i recently uh, purchased zbook 17 g6 and uh, it's in on the way it will take uh, another two weeks to arrive to my home so i'm just waiting for my zbook mobile workstation to reach my place and after that i'm going to make a pure unboxing for you guys and to watch that please subscribe to this youtube channel and uh, just to give you one more understanding this hp laptops come with xeon processor so i will give you more uh, real practical examples of how xeon is better for 3d animation and visual effects so that's it guys i will see you in my next videos where i will come up with some more tips for you so goodbye